On today's episode of Hurt Tile News, I'm bringing it to you live from my kitchen floor. Now, earlier this year, scientists described two new species of African house snake. Really cool type of snake, belongs to the genus Boadon, widespread across a good majority of sub-Saharan Africa. Now, with this two new descriptions, these two new described species, excuse me, uh, that brings up the total amount of species to 23. Now, both of these animals, they were uh, kept in collections, both alive and not so much, for a fair amount of time, actually. Uh, the first one is similar to that of the brown house snake. It was collected, and uh, these four different type of localities were found in and amongst uh, Ethiopia area, found in grasslands and woodlands and savanna-type habitats, um, ranging in elevation from uh, close to sea level, a couple hundred meters above sea level, all the way up to over 3,000 meters. And for the Americans out there, almost 9,000 feet. So even higher elevation than where I'm, I'm at right now in the mountains of Colorado. The second one is uh, Boadon sub-Niger. Now this one is very similar to that of like the black house snake. They're found in and amongst around the areas of northern Somalia. It's a little bit smaller in size, and it is a very interesting type of snake. I will include the link to the full paper in the description or is in the comments of the short. So, for any, and also for anyone wondering why I'm laying on the floor of my kitchen, as we all know, when you hit 30 years old, that check engine light comes on, your body starts making weird noises, it's harder to get up, and everything just kind of hurts. And recently, I may or may not have broken my back moving water buckets to and from my shop because I don't have a sub-freeze uh, water line. So when it gets below zero down here, I have to carry water buckets to and from, and I may or may not have hurt myself doing that. So uh, until next time.